Have you ever wondered if Jell-O is a liquid or solid, or why it stays together? Today I'm going to be making Jell-O and explaining the chemistry behind it. To make Jell-O, you will need Jell-O mix, one cup of cold water, and one cup of boiled water, a container to put your Jell-O in, and a fridge. The main ingredient to Jell-O is gelatin. Gelatin is made from animal collagen. Collagen is a protein made up of tissues, tendons, ligaments, and bones from animals. The production of gelatin is very unsustainable because of the animal byproducts and because it is so wasteful. The chemical equation for gelatin is carbon 102, hydrogen 151, nitrogen 31, and oxygen 39. The boiling water breaks down the bonds that hold the collagen together. When the jello cools between the amino acids, the colored and flavored substance become trapped between the bonds as they strengthen. This is breaking the weak bonds that hold the collagen protein chains together. Each chain is a triple helix that will float around the bowl until the gelatin cools. Here, I am adding one cup of cold water after adding the boiling water in order to start the process of the triple helix structure formation. By adding just cold water, the process is still not complete. So in order to successfully make jello, the, li the liquid jello must be put into the fridge to fully cool. When the gelatin cools below a certain temperature, the molecules associate with each other in order to reform into their original helical structure. Although instead of reforming a perfect triple helix, when chains try and associate with other chains, the water and food coloring droplets get trapped in between the polypeptide chains. If you were to heat the jello, meaning that you'd be heating the gelatin, the bonds between the chains would loosen, turning the jello into a liquid as the chains slide away from each other. Jello cannot be defined as either a solid or a liquid. It is a colloid. Colloids are mixtures where one or more substances are dispersed as relatively large solid particles or liquid droplets throughout the substance. The particles of a colloid remain dispersed. Although jello behaves more like a liquid because there are large spaces between the particles, it is still a colloid. This allows it to be broken easily, for example by a spoon, and also what allows it to jiggle. I hope this video helped you understand a more thorough explanation behind the chemistry of Jell-O. Finally, thank you for watching.